Are you looking to upgrade your Gretsch Dual Jet? Here are some things you can do to improve the tone and make your life a lot easier. Coming up. Hello and welcome to the video. If this is our first time meeting, my name is Justin and I'm all about worship guitar. Please consider subscribing, hitting that bell notification button, and treating me to a coffee to support these videos and my ministry. Stick around to the end for a bonus where I share where to download the free patches featured in this video. If we've met before, Welcome back. Upgrades. Upgrade complete. Much like an RPG game where we choose an upgrade path for our character, this Gretsch Dual Jet could go in several directions as to improving its tone. I'd like to propose an upgrade path for more sustain and clarity achieved through two components, the bridge and the tuners. Sustain is a big word in electric guitar world. If we're honest, we chase after it sometimes at a comedic level. Listen, how much is this? Just listen for a minute. I'm the not... sustain, listen to it. I'm not hearing anything. You would, though, if it were playing. We could ignore sustain on the guitar side and use audio gear like our pedals and amps to get singing sustain. But there's something magical about a guitar with natural sustain. It resonates more and it feels more alive. Watching Paul Reed Smith himself give a TED talk on guitar building opened my eyes to the importance of components on a guitar. To summarize with the PRS, the guitar is a subtractive instrument. You put in a level 10 in energy and it gives back 6. The goal in guitar making is to push that return energy up as high as possible. With a guitar like the Dual Jet, where the strings don't pass through the body like on a Strat and Tele, energy transference from the strings to the body is critical. To achieve the goals of more sustain and clarity, I want to focus on eliminating any vibrational dead zones on the strings. Basically, I want the strings to be perfectly straight, no crimps, kinks, or wraps. I also want to help the strings to vibrate more freely, especially across the bridge, which is a critical component connecting the strings to the body. Before we go on, I've linked all the parts in the description box below with affiliate links so that they will give me a small commission if you use them, which is supremely helpful in running this channel. First, let's address string crimping on the Bixby tailpiece. Every string at the ball end has to be crimped at an angle in order to fit onto the string posts. Not only is there a big crimp, it's also a pain to restring. If you know, you you know. I could get a Callahan Bixby upgrade kit, but the installation process just seemed to be quite tedious. To me, as long as I need to use an extra tool to make multiple adjustments, that's not going to be my upgrade of choice. Enter the Vibromate string spoiler. It attaches directly onto the existing string posts on the Bixby tram, needs no additional tools for installation, eliminates the aforementioned string crimping problem, and I think it's a cheaper, more elegant solution. Second, let's address removing string windings at the tuners by replacing them with my favourite upgrade on any guitar, locking tuners. Again, traditional Bixby users will know the headache of having to keep the crimped strings under tension while wrapping their strings around the tuning posts. I've used a cable to apply tension on all six strings so that it frees up one hand to concentrate on restringing, but this is an inelegant solution. Together with the string spoiler, you simply need to pull each string taut through the tuner, lock it down, and presto, string changing done. Oh, and yeah, the string windings are eliminated. The bridge is a critical component as it connects the strings to the body. Its design and quality of materials has a very large impact on the resulting tone, especially on a guitar like the Dual Jet. To be clear, I didn't make this particular upgrade as it came from the previous owner. Thank you very much, Yitong. The G6128 TCG comes stock with a synchrosonic bridge, which I think has a certain rockabilly tone that has less sustain. Additionally, the exposed screws make palm muting on this bridge quite uncomfortable. And since that's an integral part of my playing style, I'm saying no to the synchrosonic. 
for now. The bridge that Yi Tong installed before handing it over to me is the Compton Brass Bridge, which the blurb states gives a more jazzy blues tone with good sustain. Good to know if I ever do a jazz gig and I need a classy looking guitar. I may not be able to make a direct comparison between my old duo jet and the current one, but I do remember how it sounded and can attest that they are as different as night and day. In particular, chords and notes sing with clarity and definition on this dual jet. So at the end of the day, how does this guitar sound with all the upgrades? Let's hear some samples. Which leads us into today's bonus. I have a free patch pack available on my Buy Me A Coffee page and I'm debuting a set of Helix patches. So far, I've only put in HX Storm patches on there so it's about time I made stuff for Helix users too. Similar to my free Chime patch that was featured on my first Dual Jet video, the patch has the mattress amp as its foundation. It also features my personal preference of splitting the delay and reverb into parallel paths so that the delay repeats are cleaner without the reverb processing them and the reverb doesn't get muddy from the delay repeats fed into it. Download the patch and let me know what you think about parallel path processing. Question of the day, what are your favourite upgrades on your guitars? I'd love to hear your ideas and thoughts in the comment section below. That's it from me, thank you for watching this video. Head on over to my Buy Me A Coffee page to download this patch and more to support these videos and my ministry. Share this video with someone who you know is interested in upgrading his Gretsch style guitar. Until next time, I'm Justin and I'm all about worship guitar. God will